but I know I didn't mention this at all, so I didn't know. But we were thinking. Um, well, I'll tell you what I see is you got some flake and paint in a couple places. Right. I don't know if this the end cap here is rotted, but uh, it, it's it's certainly got it's not smooth. Right. Um, right up underneath the shingle, you see a piece of shingle molding. And I'm going to tell you, that's real thick. It's going to be hard to match. This looks like a 70s build if, or, or maybe earlier. Uh -huh. But, um, you know, what we could do is we'd take it down and repaint it. The hardest challenge in our life is colors and textures. Right. And, and um, you know, here in this gable, you got some flake and paint. Right. But, um, you, you know, we can, we can scrape it. We'll put down drop cloths. We'll cover it down here so we don't leave a mess. And um, you prime the bare wood and get a coat of paint on it. I mean, it'll look better. I mean, I don't know if it's rotted or not, but um, we have found spots on different parts of the house that are rotted, but that, and we have painted, and it was yeah. we had leftover paint from the owner. Good, good, the that's good. Owner, sure, but sure. We've run out, so we okay. are going to get another. And as you can see, we've done some yeah. touch-up paint up there, even. Right. Yeah. Um, sure. But there's this one looks like it may be rotted right there. We well, see the dimple in the middle. Yes. And and dimple, it is a little bit of a hole. And and uh -huh. it, I, I would agree what you know, a piece of wood is like that fascia board right here. It's supposed uh -huh. to be smooth. Right. Because that's what wood is after we work with it a little bit. And and uh that's a little bit more problematic to take out, but we can do that, replace it and put a brand new piece in and and it won't be hard. Is it structurally necessary though to replace it? No ma'am. Okay. okay. There's no <laughs> we question. We can just paint over it, put, a, put sure. an extra glob in the dimple. We will. And, and what we do, and in, in all honesty, we do that a bunch, that, that we have a good surface on both sides of it. The product we use, believe it or not, is Bondo for cars. The, prior to painting, you're saying? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll actually mix up. It's a, a base plus a hardener. And then we put that in there, mix it up, and we smooth it in. And then we sand it. And, and um, you know, there's a chance that it might be so gone that that when we start sanding this it might flake off into nothing but we'll be real careful okay great and um this piece is one of our issues. okay now do you have a piece of the siding in the back from the owner just a small piece i don't think it's that i don't, don't think, think it's, it's big enough no i think uh, mine looking like it's about this side um, let me get a measurement on that because I've got some ideas. One of the things that I've done in the past with this stuff is um, we'll take a piece of smooth beaded hardy. This hardy plank is, mm -hmm. a, is, a, is a concrete fiber siding mm -hmm. and um, we would actually cut the bead off so that it, it ends like this. It's nothing. But um, your gap here or what they call a reveal mm -hmm. is, um, is, is seven inches. So um, even this one piece, if you don't have any, then uh, you got, uh, I mean, it's a, a seven foot and a half. They come in a 12 foot step. Okay. So, you know, we can pull that one piece off and, and replace it. And um, let's see, that's the little trim board here. That's the four inch trim board. And uh, let me see, if they got an edge on it. Yeah, that's uh, three quarter wide. But you can actually see a repair right here. We Soon did that. We, yeah. we, he did that. Okay. <laughs> all right. Do, do you want to do the other? No, there's nothing wrong with it. Well, the both ends are rotting, I guess, because all the water. There's no gutter on this side of the storage room. Sure. So that's why we've got these plants to sure, sure. absorb some of the water. Right. And um, we would do the exact same thing. It's a little bit more difficult to get uh -huh. in here. But, uh -huh. you know, come up to somewhere in here and, and put another piece on. And, and the only thing different, I mean, that's a fine repair. The only thing different is that um, I would have done one more step is take that Bondo product and I'll put in the seam mm -hmm. so you will never see right. it and, and sand a little bit here because you got a little bit of a, a, a bump. Uh -huh. But if you put the Bondo in it, you'll never see it. Right. Because it was close. <laughs> that, that was real, real close. Yeah. And a couple not... things. Yeah. Um, you see the crack right here in all these? Yes. Mm -hmm. If if you can get some caulk in here, okay. We've you know, got that. That's something yeah. we can do. You, yeah. yeah, and and um, get a caulk with got a little bit of latex component in it. Make sure you see the word paintable okay. on the caulk tube itself, and you can get a caulk gun, a little one. It's hard to squeeze it, but it, you can get one for yeah, one ninety nine. I got one. And uh, push, you know, you know, put a little, cut a tiny hole in the tip of it, and, and a little bead. And that's it. And a little bead, and push it in, and water goes in those cracks. Yep. Okay. Yep. And pretty soon, if it goes in enough of them, this whole side right. will be rotted, like wow. we saw in the house yesterday. Yes, ma'am. Saw so in the house yesterday. Mm hmm. We went to a house yesterday. They had oh, cracked way up Oh, that you saw in the house high. yesterday. Yes, oh, okay. I sure, thought. sure. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you a piece of wood that you know y'all you work real hard to get paint on is that little chip right there. You see that little chip underneath that shingle? Yeah. And if you can get keep paint on that thing, it'll it'll last a long time. You're talking about where that little trim does ends? Yeah, the little Pretty shingles Charlie? hanging over okay. that, yeah. Because, you know, you, you can tell it doesn't look real, uh, I don't know, whatever the color is. Uh -huh. But um, if you keep some paint on it, it and it'll last a long time. Because mm -hmm. wood, that piece of wood is harder than anything I could buy today. They're growing trees so fast, they have them genetically altered to keep up with builders' needs, to keep up the population's needs for housing. Goodness gracious. And there, there's not a whole lot, but... Um, Let's see what else we got. Okay, well, and I don't think this is a structural. I don't know how this happened. It may have been when they they yeah. put this electricity in because this runs down underground to sure. the garage. Sure, sure. But that's just a little, that's nothing. That's probably okay. cosmetic. Well, I'm more worried about that hole up there. What about that? Oh yeah, you can, it's yeah brings in light inside the storage yeah. room. And well, I'm not worried about the light. The I'm not worried about. That. I'm worried about the water. Right. So far, we've been there ten years. I don't see any water damage in there. But then again, maybe you should look at it. Sure. Well, but what do we do? We just caulk it up then, or yes, put some stuff around it? I would. I would do something. I mean, something. you know, whatever your whatever your choices are. If y'all want to handle that, those are little things y'all could do. And you know, get a little ladder up there, and 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 you know, just get some caulk. I would get 100% silicone. And a clear it's or so whatever. Big though, yeah. The hole to put, I guess you can it just glop it up. Would it stay? Yeah. You get some foam. Put some, put some foam behind it. Put a piece of wood behind it. And lots of things you can do. Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Sure, sure. This one's rotting too, so okay. I don't know if, if yeah. within that 12 feet, uh, yeah, it is. That's, that's 12 foot piece. You could yeah. take some of that and put it there too. This is like paper. The, the, yeah. the cement like stuff paper. you're talking about wouldn't flake like that would it? It's concrete. Yeah. Concrete. Okay. okay. Well, cement. It's okay. uh, it's about three eighths of an inch thick. But the problem is that, um, I mean, even if y'all want to do these little ones, it's fine. Just get a, um, a, a, well, I mean, if you got an old saw blade and you just throw it away. But um, I cut for a long time with the old blade. And, and um, the other thing is a, um, a concrete blade is, is meant to cut it. And they're expensive. But, um, Hence my phone call to you. <laughs> so well, that you guys could do stuff like this. There's a lot of materials we don't have. Yeah. Right. And, sure. And yeah. tools and stuff. Well, I'll tell you so. what's, what's going to happen is that, that you know, for example, if, if we were pulling this board out or this one, you got to go in, you got to cut these nails right. okay. with, with a sawzall and a metal blade mm -hmm. and, and break them free. Mm -hmm. And then you got this here, it may be in the top of that one. Right. You got to wiggle it and you right. got to pull it straight down. And it's not a whole lot to pull because right. you wear some gloves because you're right. going to bust your knuckles here and, and get it out smooth without affecting that one. And you see you've got some activity right. here on number two right. that that might flake. So we might end up taking two because we mess right. up one. Yeah. Right. And then we got some activity like on some three. There. Yeah. Yeah. So we might mess up three. So we take right. three. Right. And before you get to number four, it's a clean board. But eventually right. we'll be able to get one out because the one above it'll be good so but you know i'm i'm just we just bill you for the bottom one and, and whatever we have to do to get it off we do okay let's see all, all all this all these products are concrete now right right you know um well i guess we don't need to look in there we need to caulk that like you said yes ma'am okay then we have some rock going on here i don't know if that's a trim for the or is that the actual fascia itself yes, i don't know well that's but called it's called a fascia board the so thing, I don't know the, if that's, um, the thing behind the gutter is the fascia uh -huh. board, and, and you know it's pretty much all all we do is, um, I got to see the back side of that. There's a lot the previous homeowner did that we don't know if it's well, even they've correct. got the gutter. They got the gutter going all the way to the shingle. Right. Uh, let me make.